Hey, Disneyland Paris, right? What are you up to this summer? That was rhetorical. You're coming to help me and my friends, the Avengers. You know, we're saving the world. We're looking for top-notch new recruits with great communication skills. Previous field experience, always a plus. Of course, there will be masterclass training. So, if you have what it takes, join us. Hey everybody, so we got a promo that shows us a much better look at Iron Man's new armor. This is really, really close to what it's actually going to look like during the movie. It's just a Disneyland promo for all the Infinity War stuff that they're going to be doing. Obviously, they cut these without some of the actors, so like that's why they have them facing away from the camera, because the actor playing Thor here is not Thor, and he has long hair because they don't want to spoil the stuff that's going on during Ragnarok and Infinity War. But we got to talk about the new set picks from Avengers 4 because there's a lot of stuff going on. People are thinking that there might be some time travel involved with the time gem. There's an alternate theory that I also want to present. So two big theories. One, time travel with the actual time stone, legit time travel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And second theory, some technology left from Captain America's Civil War that Iron Man was working on that he might bring back during Avengers 4. So if you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I'm also doing an Infinity Gauntlet giveaway that I'll explain at the end of the video too. So we'll do the time travel theory first, then I'll explain the second theory. But the reason why everybody's freaking out about this is because they recently saw pictures of Captain America wearing his original suit from the first Avengers film, and it's just Iron Man, Captain America, Ant-Man, and Hulk in this scene on the street in what looks like this big battle. So before you draw any conclusions, just note that Captain America's shield does not have the claw marks on it from Black Panther during Civil War. And if you're wondering why some of them have dots on them, that's what Iron Man looks like when he's walking around on set because his Iron Man suit is largely done in the computer. Usually you just see Robert Downey Jr. walking around set doing his lines and then later they'll add the Iron Man suit in post-production. There were a couple of pictures from months and months ago when they first started filming Avengers 4 that also show scenes that look like they're from the first Avengers film. Thor has his old costume on, he has both of his eyes, he has his long blonde hair, Loki has the muzzle on him, so there are all these shield guards. It looks like they're getting ready for this scene here where they all say goodbye and part ways Thor and Loki go back to Asgard with the space gem. But here's the thing, you see them standing around in this scene all laughing. It looks like somebody made Chris Evans break, like he's not actually supposed to be laughing in whatever's happening during this scene. But what's different about this from the original Battle of New York? Ant-Man was not there, he's wearing his new version of the costume from present day that he gets during Infinity War, and Iron Man is wearing different clothing too. If you remember, he was wearing that t-shirt during the first Avengers film, underneath his Iron Man armor. So this might be Captain America circa 2012 from that first Avengers film and Iron Man and Ant-Man travel back into the past. Hulk is a little too hard to tell because he's going to be 100% CG so they'll make him look like whatever they want to make him look like. I think that no matter what, the way that he looked during Thor Ragnarok is going to be really close to what he looks like during Infinity War. If you remember, this is what he looked like during the first Avengers film, this is what he looked like during Ragnarok. So because CG has gotten a little bit better, they made his face more expressive, so that's why he looks different in the newer films. So this raises more questions than it answers, like why would only a couple of the Avengers go back in time? People have all kinds of theories about these devices on their wrists here. But the key difference between the characters here is that Ant-Man looks like he has this special device already built into his gauntlet. This is what the gauntlet looks like during Civil War. This is what it looks like during Avengers 4. So it might be PIM tech that allows them to either use the Infinity Gems or exist back in the past. Just help them withstand the pressures of using the Infinity Stones. I know you can't see it here, but when Chris Evans is laughing, it looks like he does not have one of those little devices on his wrist. But if you go to this picture, it does seem like he has one. So there are just a number of things that they could be going back to the original Battle of New York to get. They could be going back to get the Space Gem. They could be going back to change time so that something goes down differently in the future. Like maybe they actually lose to Thanos and this event comes to pass, but the surviving Avengers find a way to go back in time and change things like, oh, we're going to die unless we do something differently. Or if they're making such a big deal about these Captain America scenes, they could be going back into the past to get a version of Captain America. Like he might be one of the deaths during Infinity War because bearded Captain America looks so different from this version of Chris Evans in Avengers 4. So they might be two completely different versions of the character so that you can have Chris Evans in Avengers 4. He can finish his contract out because he does have that movie on his contracts. 
So even if he dies during Infinity War, during this big Outriders invasion, you still need to include him in Avengers 4 in some way. And the only way to do that is time travel or a flashback. So just remember that you have some of the current versions of the Avengers in their new Infinity War costumes in the Battle of New York during 2012 interacting with old versions of the Avengers for some reason. And there's also what looks like two different versions of Tony Stark in these scenes here where they're getting ready to take Loki back to Asgard. You see him with Point Break Thor here wearing the original version of his t-shirt from the first Avengers film. Then you see another version of him in the shield gear here too. But here's the other big difference too, is that during Infinity War you saw him with Pepper Potts and those behind the scenes pics. He's wearing this version of the costume. You can clearly see the arc reactor in the middle of his chest. That's the brand new version of the costume. So the jacket that he's wearing here is just a little bit different. There's no arc reactor, but he has a bunch of dots on him. So it might just be them adding that in post-production much, much later. So moving into the second big theory, and I actually think that this is probably more likely. There's also a set pick with this hippocampus device that Iron Man was using during Captain America Civil War. Remember the scene where he was trying to remember his parents? Like you saw the young version of him. It was all weird because the CG wasn't totally perfect. You're going to miss us because this is the last time we're all going to be together. You know what's about to happen. Say something. If you don't, you'll regret it. I love you, Dan. And I know you did the best you could. That's how I wish it happened. Binarily augmented retroframing, or BARF, God, I gotta work on that acronym, an extremely costly method of hijacking the hippocampus to clear traumatic memories. So it's a slightly different version of time travel, but that's basically what he's doing. He needs some information that he can only find in his memories that he just can't remember without going back and actually watching it himself. But let me know in the comments, what do you think is actually going on here? Do you actually think that they're legit traveling back in time? Or do you think it's just Captain America Civil War technology and he's traveling back in his memories and Ant-Man is just here witnessing the simulation with him? Big takeaway, I think, is that Thanos in present day during Infinity War beats the crap out of all of them. So whatever they're doing here, it's because of something that Thanos did in present day. But like I said, there's a new round of that Infinity Gauntlet giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a Marvel-related comment on the video. I'll name a winner when I post new Marvel, but congratulations to the winner from my last video. Davian Clefton, please private message me so I can get your contact details. Click here for brand new Black Panther and click here for that Venom teaser. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.